come on, welcome in. This is my studio. It's a building I created. It's been a dream with all my travels. I've always wished for this, and here it is. In creating this studio, I knew I had to create a magic sense around where I live because that's who I am. So I've got little water fountains, I've got chimes, I've got little statues, stones and shells. I've collected gardens with flowers, especially the gardenias when they're blooming in the, in the spring are fantastic because then you get the wonderful smell. Just beautiful. I don't start out with drawings when I work. I go immediately to the metal and the gem and the stones actually speak to me, what they want. Sometimes I use geometry, sometimes more flow. The tools are very basic compared to any jeweler. My studies with a Hopi silversmith, he taught me how to use very simple tools, how to actually make tools. So I took a cement nail and I created a tool that I make texture in the gems with. I enjoy making pendants because of how close they are to the person worn on the heart or the thymus or up by the throat, using specific gems to help work with the energetic of the person. Bracelets are really special. They're usually large and, and pretty powerful. I learned from a Hopi silversmith how to do shadow box bracelets, which are hollow form. Very, very few people in the world know how to do those. And this was special to learn how to do the shadow box work. Rings are my favorite pieces to work on. They're extremely personal, wearing on a hand and being able to see it all the time. And I just love to do the flow and the overlay and the, the wrapping of it and the gemstones. Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use pearls and together with a moonstone or combine the energetic of the stones or reset a stone for somebody. But rings are really fun to do for me. Shields are large pendants that bring much more intricacy to a pendant. They're larger, there are different symbols in them. Like if I'll use the owls, I'll use the owls at, in one pendant, one or two, the heart of a stone, and, and somebody would wear that at their chest and that would remind them of their animal totem. Yeah, through most of my career, my work has been 3D. Um, as an artist, I studied in a school as a sculptor, and I worked with clay and metal and, and different forms of sculpting. So it was, it was pretty much a natural progression to go into jewelry work, which was 3D. And now I'm going into the 2D aspect of the paintings, but I'll be doing both. I love to paint images that are water, flowers, foliage, little beings that live in the foliage, um, and just make things so they're a little invisible, yet also they come together as a whole. When I say invisible, I mean like the little fairy world that's inside of them. One is called My Secret Orchid Garden. When you originally look at it, it looks like orchids. But then when you go deeper into it, you'll see the little beings that live in there. My belts are storytelling belts. I have one specific one that gives all the phases of the moon from full to new. And that's a pretty popular one. They're all one of a kind. It's always a different type of belt, but the phase of the moon is popular. Then I'll do one with the hummingbirds with rubies um, put in there with the, the red color that the hummers are attracted to. And then there's one called the birth of a dolphin that I also have a gold dolphin in there the aquamarine and the pearls and the different gems that denote water for me. After 40 years of working with jewelry, I have found such great customers who come to me. They love what I do. They understand what I do beyond just the object itself. And it's just such a joy to share my life in this way with other people.